Hey y'all, <clears throat> it's me again, Valerie. Welcome back to my yarn room. Yay! Y'all see this beautiful pattern in front of me? Yep. And it looks a little bit different on the other side than it does on this side. But not by much. Well, actually, that's upside down. Y'all want to learn how to make this? Okay. I call this gentle waves. Because that's what it looks like. It looks like gentle waves. Now. This pattern says that it is for intermediate. It's not hard. If you know how to do a slip knot, a chain, a single crochet, a half double crochet, a double crochet, and a treble crochet, that's all you need. Because that's what you do. You start with singles, and you go up to half doubles, and doubles, and trebles, and then back down to doubles, and back down to half doubles, and back down to singles. And then on the next row, you do the same. And I put a row of singles in between, and at the top and the bottom. That's it. Because there's my row of singles, there's my row of stitches, there's my row of singles, row of stitches, row of singles, row of stitches, and row of singles. Or, if you don't want your singles to show too much, do it that way. Alright, let's get started. Alright. I got my yarn. Now, I'm going to tell you before we even get started. What you can do is every two rows, you can change color. Um, that, that really makes it stand out. Uh, to do it in like a, a light blue and dark blue kind of thing. Or uh, white and blue. It really looks like waves when you do that. Or if I, you could do, um, you could do your temperature blanket in this design, or your valves picks in this design. It don't matter. But, um, I would say that it's a two-row repeat. Okay, we're going to start off. Well, the pattern is done in multiples of 14 plus 2. So, I'm going to do 14, and then I'm going to do 14, and then I'm going to do 2. And I'll meet you back when I get all that done. Okay, I'm back. And I have got a chain of 30, which is... 14, 14, plus 2. So, 28 <clears throat> is my pattern. And that 2 is for turning and doing my, my first stitch. Okay. So, y'all know me. I like them bumps on the back. So, we're going to turn here. And we're going to put a single crochet in that first, that's the second bump from the hook. And then I'm going to work a single crochet all the way down till I get to the end. And then I'm going to chain one and turn. And I'll meet y'all back then. Okay, I'm back. 
I put one single crochet in every single stitch all the way to the end, chained one. Now I'm going to turn. Now, this is the way the pattern is worked. To start out right here, we're going to put a single crochet in the first two. Then, in the next two, we're going to put, well, two half double crochets, or uh, one in each. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? I hope so. So, in the next two stitches, we put one half double crochet. And in the next two stitches, we're going to put one double crochet in each. Now, in the next three, we're going to put one treble in each. That's working our height. Whoa, that just went like red all of a sudden. Might be my fingernails. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sorry about that. The color keeps going red on me. Okay. Now see how it's working up? Well, now to make it a wave, we got to work it back down. So we're going to do two doubles and then we're going to do two half doubles and then like we did the three trebles here, we're going to do three singles. I know we only started here with two, but that's on the end. So we're going to do three singles. Okay, then we're going to start back with our half doubles, and we're going to do two half doubles. Hold on, my yarn's getting hooked. There we go. Then we're going to do two doubles. We're going back up. And then, well, we're going to do three trebles. And if my count is right, we should end up, just like on the other end, with two singles and with me you never can tell if my count is right or not <laughs> that's why i want to warn y'all ahead of time all right we did our three trebles now we got to work back down we got to do two doubles it ain't the end of the world if your yarn comes out all you gotta do is just put your hook back in and finish the stitch. <laughs> Alright, so two doubles. And then we gotta do two half doubles. And 
And I got two stitches left. Hey, what do you know? I can count. Two singles. Because we don't count that, that turning chain. All right, now we're going to chain one. We're going to turn our work. The way I want to do it is I want to put a row of single crochets all the way down. So I'll meet you back when I get that done. All right, I'm back. And I got my my row of singles all the way down. And I haven't done nothing. I haven't chained one, turned nothing. Okay. This is the tricky part. Because, well, y'all know, I don't like more than a chain one at the end. But, we got to put trebles here. Two of them. One in each stitch. And that don't work with a chain one and a treble. So, we're going to turn before we chain. And we're going to chain four. That counts as your first treble. So we don't go in that stitch right there because we got that one. Okay? So we're going to yarn over twice. Now hold it so that it don't twist on you. And we, like I said, we're not going in that one. We're going in that next one. We're going to draw up a loop. We're going to yarn over and go through two. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. Okay. Now, what that does is that counts as two trebles. One in each stitch. Because we did singles here, so we got to do trebles here. I know it's a little bit of a gap, but it, it will work out. It, it does. I already did it. Okay, so now we got, like I said, we got to do doubles because we got to come back down. So we're going to do two doubles. And then we're going to do two half doubles. All right, now, over top of our three trebles right here, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> got a frog in my throat, uh, ribbit, ribbit, we're going to put three singles, okay, then, it's going back down here. So, on the top of these three singles right here, we got to put three trebles. So, we got to build it back up. So, now we're going to do two half doubles because we got to build it back up. That's what makes it a wave. Then... We got to build it up a little bit more, so we got to do two doubles. Then we're right over top of our three singles, so we're going to do three trebles. And if I'm crocheting these stitches too fast for you, um, I actually have in my playlist, um, I believe it's basic stitches. I have the stitches slowed down and, and in multiples to, to show you what to do. <clears throat> All right, we did our three. I apologize. Our three trebles. 
So now we got to build it back down because we're going up a hill here. So, how do we do that? Yep, we're going to do two doubles. And then we're going to do two half doubles. This is a very easy pattern. I don't know why it would be listed as intermediate. And then we're going to do three singles. Because we on top of them three trebles. Trebles, triples, however you want to say it. I like calling them trebles. And then we got to go back up. Because we're over here coming, we're coming down the hill, so we got to build it up. So, two halves. Two doubles. And two troubles. And then all you do is chain one and put singles all the way back across. And then... Work this row, which is your, this is, this is like your foundation row here. So, row one, and then a row of singles, and then work row two again. And just keep working one and two with a row of singles in between. And that's all it is to that pattern. And just remember, however wide you want it. That, that's perfectly fine. Um, just do it in multiples of 14 plus 2. And it'll work out. You can make it for a, a king size bed if you want to. Just remember, multiples of 14 plus 2. Now, when you come back across from here, don't forget that that chain four right there, that counts as a double or a treble crochet. So, you got to put one in the top of it. Okay. That's all you got to remember for this whole pattern. And it, it's gorgeous. All right, that's going to be all for today. I'll meet you back here in the next one for another grand adventure right here in Valjean Room. Um, do something nice for somebody. I know I say it all the time, but I really mean it. If, if everybody does something nice for somebody... All the time. Now, wouldn't that be a wonderful world to live in? I think so. Anyway. Enough of that philosophical stuff. I <laughs> uh, love each and every single one of y'all to pieces. And, uh, if you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button. And give us a thumbs up like that lets me and YouTube know whether you like me or not. Hope you do. I try to give it my all. And uh, it's going to be my last video for the week. So I will be off for two days, I think it is. 
And I think I'll post again on Sunday morning. Yeah. I think that's my schedule is I'm off on Friday and Saturday. I don't know. My days is running together with this new schedule. I'm still trying to get used to it. Um, but, um, share if you can, or if you know how, um, I'm going to try to put time stamps in the comments. That way, you don't have to keep rewinding and fast-forwarding and stuff like that in order to do the this row and this row. So, I'll call it row one and row two. And y'all can remember to do a row of singles in between. So, I, like I said, I'll try to put timestamps in it, in the, the comment section. And I'll, I'll try to pin it to where that it's always up at the very top. Easy to get to. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this pattern or any of the patterns that I've been doing lately. And, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.